Hello, what's up everyone? This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by again today. Today we are going to do another DIY from the Dollar Tree. It's kind of mixed of any items from Goodwill and anything also from my stash. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, I am Shasha SJ. I love to craft anything from the Dollar Tree, Walmart, Goodwill, or anything that can be recycled. And I also love jewelries. And yes, thank you guys so much for visiting on my Poshmark closet. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I got some new stuff. Look at these. Super pretty. I love that color, guys. It's super beautiful. It's... Right. Okay, so I have this measurement, and we are going to measure this ring in case if you want it. And it is sized as seven and three fourths. It's almost by the number eight, right there. The red one is U.S. size finger, so it should be seven and three fourths almost on the eight all right so there you go and this is stamp as what's that called stainless steel and it's beautiful if you want this one go check them out on my description down below on my push mark closet if it's gone that means it is sold because I cross posted all of my items okay so yes if you go to my Poshmark closet, I have a daily deal, which is if you buy three piece for $15 price below, you will get that for $20 for three piece. And that's a good deal. All right, so go check them out and let's get started to our DIY. And I'm so excited to show you guys what are we gonna make today. And also this one also on my Poshmark closet. This is a stretchy bracelet and it's beautiful i love it it's super awesome super nice and yes there you go check them out because once they're gone they are gone <laughs> anyway let's get into our diy let's get into this let's go all right so first we are going to check on my stash that we are going to use so the one not just the one but the items that we need from my stash is of course a glue gun paint acrylic paint you can use any paint I don't know if we're going to use this but anything works any paint paint brush felt I choose this color a pom-poms another felt and a bow this is I made this before guys long long time ago I used to make a bow head wrap bow or whatever head wrap for babies super fun anyway there you go that's from my stash and the one from Goodwill is this one I love to go Goodwill guys I honestly love to go Goodwill and this one is we are going to use a fake beard and i could not find any white color any white beard but we are going to use this for now and a wood if you have anything wood that you already have one i couldn't find any plain wood so we are going to do something on this one and I got this for 50 cents. And these are from Goodwill. Now we are going to see what we have from the Dollar Tree. I know, it's so exciting. Guess what, what I have? This one. I found this one, I was like, I gotta use that for something. Super fun. This is the one that they put on that, whatever that is. And, Yes, we are going to make a gnome bunny. So exciting. I'm so excited, guys. This is not a planned DIY, okay? <laughs> I didn't plan anything. I just grabbed this and that and build it into something. So we'll see how we come up with this, okay? All right, so if your wood is already 
not painted in here go ahead and just don't paint it just leave it as wood but for now i just want to cover that one this is Molly fanatic foundation but i'm just gonna cover that up because just because <laughs> and we are going to put this one aside all right so next we are going to make a gnome's nose I am just using this pom-poms guys because I have no option I don't have a wooden beads so I'm just gonna use this There you go there is our gnome's nose next i just grab my felt and i'm going to measure the head of my gnome so i just leave an inch so it's better that way that there's a space than super tight on the head All right so i'm just going to cut it like so like that And next, I am just going to glue this area and glue this area and turn it inside out, okay? So let's put this one aside. All right, so next we are going to work on our bunny ears. I don't know how to do this, guys. But I am figuring, I'm thinking of removing this. So hopefully it works awesome for me. I don't know how to remove this, but I think I'm just gonna cut something in here on this end. Look at that Ta-da! there's a thing in there and there is our bunny ears super cute now I'm grabbing this felt that we just glued all together it is done we just turned this one inside out we are going to put this one aside and we are going to grab our gnomes beard all right so here we go i got this at the goodwill i tried to find a white beard but i could not find any white beard but who cares right we are going to use this why not we are going to use this Super cool, look how cool that is. That is beautiful. And look at that, super awesome. Super, super awesome. And I am going to aim that I'm going to use this like that, maybe just this halfway down here where it's folded. I am going to cut this one like so. All right, so here we go. All right, it's going to be messy a little bit in here, but first I'm going to put this inside so it's not going to be spreading everywhere. And you can always grab a lint roller if there is some mess, which is perfect. The lint roller is always perfect helper. And I'm just going to grab this lint roller again. All right. 
All right, so it is done and I figured that I want to put this lead or the cover at the bottom area. So then I am just going to put that like so, like that, glued in there. to grab our gnome's hat. And I am grabbing this bunny ears and I'm going to lay this one flat like so just like that over to the top of our gnome's nose And look at that, super cute. And what I'm trying to do right now is I want that hat goes stick in the side. So I am thinking to put that glued in there on that side of Gnome's hat, just like so. I want it to lay like that. And I hope it will stick real fast. Look how cute this is. Super cute. I'm so excited about this. All right. And then I am going to try and cut this piece in here. I hope I can cut this off. And just cut this off. I'm just going to glue this on that side. There you go. Super cute. OMG. And there you go. It is done. Super cute. Let me go farther so you can see. It is done. So now you can hide at the bottom down here. That's why I don't glue the one in the bottom. So you can open it up and hide some of your treasures. Or during um, Easter time, you can put a pencil in here or a egg ones that you want to hide or some treasures of yours that you kept forever you can hide them in here or your keys and right now what i'm going to put in here is my favorite chocolate my boys love this and this is one of their favorite chocolate it's reese's so i'm going to hide them in here and super super fun and easy to make so this would be perfect for them to have some hidden surprises for their little gnomes all right so there you go it is hiding i meant to put that i meant to put them upside down or the the lead at the bottom so that it's not going to be on the top if you know what i mean so there you go it is done and super easy and you grab the ones that we just painted on this wood i put a mud podge over it so when it spills something on or if it's something spills on it like liquid it won't go splatter all the paint everywhere if you know what i mean so there you go they are super cute and awesome the gnome the gnome is 
standing on that little wood. Super cute. And there you go. There is our super awesome gnome that we just made. And I'm going to show you guys just the closer look of our gnome. And yes, thank you guys for staying with me. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And please, if you like my video, please do subscribe. That would be very, very awesome. And I really, really appreciate it. And thank you also for staying with me. And yeah, don't forget to visit my Poshmark closet. I have a deals every day, which is if you buy a three piece of jewelry priced $15 below is only $20. So that's a very good deal. But anyway, thank you so much again for staying with me. You guys are awesome. And I'm going to show you the closer look of our gnome that we just made today for Easter gnome.